Um, majority of y'all said Mary was correct. Some of y'all did not show me like any calculation. You were just like, yeah, the volume is 603. It's like, how you know? Okay, so just kind of talking this through. Okay, what two shapes are these? A cone and a cylinder. Okay, a cone, and then you're telling me a cylinder. What's the formula for a cone? Okay, and then what is a cylinder? Beautiful. Okay, so what is R going to be on both of these scenarios? Four. Okay, and then I'm going to plug that in. And then what's the height of the cone? Oh, the height of the cone four. Four. What's the height of the cylinder? Okay, and so then when you actually substitute this into your, oh, I'm sorry, plug it into your calculator, then you should have gotten, Mary was correct, yeah? <laughs> All right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so with that being said, um, make sure when I ask you who do you agree with and why, you're giving me like the work. OK, um, because a lot of y'all were like telling me things that were like not mathematically related. Y'all were just like, yeah, Mary's cool. So she's right. No, that's not good enough. OK. All right. Mary is probably cool. No, it's OK. Wow. All right. So today we're going to determine the volume of figures in context, including including composite figures. Um, so what you're going to title this is volume composite figures. So on your paper. You're writing volume composite figures. All right, what does the word composite mean? To compose. To, to compose, to put together. Yes. Okay, so just like what I asked you at the beginning, what two shapes did that make? You told me a cylinder and you told me a cone, right? But it made one figure, right? Okay. So volume composite figures. All right, ready? Okay, look at this lovely picture on the board. What do you notice? And what do you wonder? A lot of squares. A lot of squares. Do you notice anything odd? There is a huge hole in the center. Okay, imagine that just like happening, just like right outside. That would be crazy. It's down at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, it's a little dark. Okay, so how big is the 2010 Guatemalan sinkhole? Okay, so um, back in, shh, ready? Are you ready? Okay, back in 2010, y'all were like, what, four? Two? two? Wow. Oh my God. Three. 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 Okay, so I was a sophomore in high school. Um, okay, so yeah, I was I was a sophomore freshman. Okay, so I was like y'all's age back then. There was a sinkhole and then we're gonna watch this video really quick. We're gonna watch this video really quick to like, see what it actually looked like. Okay, this is a, this is the sinkhole. Just kind of just happened. Okay, so this person is filming. And they kind of go off to the side. Oh my goodness. And we're not sure how far it goes down, right? It just kind of like, boom. Drop the phone. You can measure it, right? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to make an estimate. How much material will it take to fill the sinkhole? On your paper, I want you to kind of make a guess. Okay, and we'll go back and I'll play the video again. How much material? would it take to fill in the sinkhole? So if I brought like a big, um, I would probably use like vol volume, right? So I would use like meters, maybe feet, okay? How many feet would it take to fill that up? Okay, so I'm gonna come back, watch this video again. Maybe and the you, the highest you, yeah, yeah. All right, take a second, thinking about it. That's a real deep hole. Oh, 
All right. Okay, so somebody give me their, their low estimate. Four. Four. Man. All right. 174 feet, like you're saying. Okay. 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 What about a high estimate? All right, so I'm gonna write this down. Y'all said y'all said like 174 to how much? 500. And are y'all is this is this in cubic feet or is this in regular feet? Or y'all saying so? Wow, nice. Okay, how how deep the hole is? The volume actually is like how much space it takes up. So remember, we measure that in cubic feet, right? Okay, so that's that three dimensional piece. Okay, so we want to do in cubic feet. Okay, cool. So we're saying it's 174 to about 500 cubic feet. All right, cool. Okay, now what information do you need to answer our main question? Okay, so like I want you to think about what the shape is of that hole. What, what shape is that? It wouldn't be a perfect cylinder though. Okay, so it'd be roughly a cylinder. Somebody said a circle. Okay. <laughs> the cross section, cross section is a circle. You're right. Okay, but like as an overall, probably want to go with cylinder, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what information do we need to know with a cylinder? The radius and the height. Radius and the height, maybe diameter, and then you would need another formula, right? Okay, that would be an important piece. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some clues to help us with this. All right. So here's clue one. Okay. Yep. So that was the picture we saw earlier. Okay. Here's another picture. It doesn't look that big now. Okay. What about this one? Okay. And that's what. Okay. So that's clue one. Okay. Going back. Here is clue two. So this is an article or review. Okay. Okay, so it's about three pages. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you about uh, four minutes to kind of read through this. Okay. So take a second once you read this over. Um, questions. One, how did this happen? What caused this? Storm. Okay. So storm caused it, okay? How many people died? 146, okay. How many houses were lost? Three, three, three story building. A three-story building. And the other one is Same thing. Okay, so y'all are bringing up a good point. One article said 65 feet across and 100 feet deep, right? Okay. And then another one said, I think it was this one. The sinkhole is about 200 feet deep. Okay, so in the third article, it's 200 feet deep. Okay, and it doesn't say anything about how wide it is across, right? Okay, but what about this first article? It says that it's, um, it says about 66. Why would they say that they're relatively the same information? It says about 66. 66 feet. From meters to feet. Okay. I don't think it's about 100 feet. They're not about Okay, so why are they changing the numbers? Because they don't know. They're taking a rough estimate, right? Okay, that's kind of like, uh, for lack of a better example, that's like when people say, oh, we had two fights at school versus like 17. Like they're saying a rough estimate because they don't know. Yes? Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to find the volume for each one of these articles. Find the volume for each one of these articles. Okay, 
So on the first one, they told us that it was 66 feet across, 100 feet deep. So find the volume for that guy. On the second one, they told us 65 across, 100 feet deep. And then the third one, they told us 200 feet deep. Uh, do it in feet because everything everything's in feet for this one. Yeah, in America. Okay, so take a second. You are calculating that. All right, so did you take 66 and 100 and you go like this, pi 66 no. squared no. times 100? Why are you plugging 33 in here? Because 66 is the diameter and the radius is half. Okay, so did y'all still get this number right here? No. All right, so let's test that. All right. It's okay. We have the calculators. Okay, so if I plugged all of this in, I would have gotten 33 squared times 100 times pi, right? And we're going to just say 3.14 to make our lives easier. So I still get 341,946. If we're talking in feet, probably want to go ahead and multiply that. Okay. All right. So coming back in here, what'd y'all get for the last one? Go ahead. Okay, 673,910.89. Okay, so my question is, all right, well, which one do we go with? Because I, I think our, okay, could, okay. But how much would it cost to fill the sinkhole in? Because here's the deal. Have y'all ever been to like, all right, ready? Have y'all ever been to Home Depot and like your parents were like building something and they had to buy material. And then if they bought material and they didn't buy enough, they had to go back and spend more money. But if they bought too much, it was a waste. Well, there's a difference between 342,000 and 673,000. Like that's almost double, right? That's, that's a lot. So, My question is, how much would it cost? Y'all know how much dirt is to fill something in? So if we use concrete, if we did, yeah, it's, yeah. So if we did, the thickness is 100, uh, but this is with blocks. This is concrete slabs. That's not going to work. Not how much concrete do I need. How much? Okay, ready? $117 per cubic yard. That's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, okay? So filling in this sinkhole is gonna be real expensive, right? Okay, so really quick, I want you to take a look at what the actual thing is. Okay, ready? We can model the sinkhole as a cylinder. That's what we concluded. Using the approximation dimensions of 66 for the diameter and a depth of 100, we can calculate it with 342,119.45 feet uh, to the third power. But how much would it cost to fill the sinkhole? Well, a cubic foot of concrete currently costs about $4. Now, this was back in the day, okay? Mm -hmm. 
four dollars times three hundred forty-two thousand one hundred nineteen point four five is going to cost <clears throat> one million three hundred sixty-eight thousand four hundred seventy-seven dollars and eighty cents. That's not including somebody actually like putting the concrete in because you got to pay that person to do it. Okay. And the price of concrete also varies. So it would be reasonable for the total cost to be somewhat between one and $2 million because it created a sinkhole, okay? Can somebody grab that door? All right, so what I want you to do, what I want you to do is on the board, there is a shape, okay? Yeah, I know it's a weird shape, right? Now, somebody's building this structure for their younger cousin to play on. The entire structure is made out of soft foam so the children don't hurt themselves. How much foam do you need in order to build this play structure? Take a second, I want you to kind of think through it. One, draw it on your paper, and two, kind of think through this one. Take a sec. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can kind of approach this problem. Now, obviously, like, you know, I'm gonna do the best way that I think, but it's not the absolute way. Does that make sense? Okay, because it's a composite figure, so you can kind of break it up into pieces. Here's how I would break it up, okay? And again, you could have probably done this a little bit different, okay? <laughs> oh, great. Me and John Jason are thinking the same way. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You're good. Okay. So I would have taken this box over here. Are you listening? I'm doing math. You got to watch. Okay. So if this is 20 on this side, 20 has got to be over here as well. Okay, so this box over here, I'm gonna call this box one. I'm gonna call this box two. I'm gonna call this box three. And then this is gonna be the triangle, okay? All right, so that way we know what we're talking about here. Okay, so in box one, we're gonna go length times width times height, right? Now the height is not gonna be five anymore because I've chopped this bottom piece. This is now gonna be three. Okay, so it's gonna be three times eight times 20. So this guy is gonna be 480, okay? Now box two is going to be five plus three. So the height's gonna be eight, the width's gonna be 10, and the length's gonna be 20. With me? Okay, so we got eight times 10 times 20. So that's gonna be 1600. Box three, is going to be, it's two inches tall, it's 36 wide, and then 20, I'm sorry, 20 wide, two inches tall, and long, 36 inches. Wow. Thanks, friend. <laughs> that was what I was looking for. Wait. And that's going to be 1440. Okay. Now, how do I go about solving this triangle? It's a um, triangular prism, so you would do, you would, uh, so, hey, I need y'all to pay attention because it's where most of y'all messed up. Okay, so for this triangle, we're going to do the... I'm listening. I'm waiting on y'all. Okay, so we're going to do one half the base times height. So you see how this is a triangle on the side? Okay, our height right here is going to be eight. Okay, our base is going to be... 18. How did I get 18? Because you can tell that from the eight inches in there and the 10 inches that it's 18. And the total is 36. So this is minus 18. Exactly. Okay, so I've got one half 18 times eight. And the height of this guy is actually going to be 20. Okay, so when I plug in, shh, I know y'all aren't talking while I'm trying to do math. Okay. So when I do all of that, that's going to also give me 1440. Word. Word. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to add up all that mess. And this is going to give me 4960 oh, inches cubed. So I'm assuming that group got it right. Okay. Y'all are close. Okay. So my friend over there. Yeah, y'all got him right. Okay. 
So notice how, bring it back, bring it back. Notice how we took like a generic problem. I mean, like creating foam, like that's like that could happen in the real world, right? Okay, and then we took that and used math in order to figure out how much foam we're gonna need. Yes, okay. So what I want you to do is, give me two seconds.